for John. <laughs> you see how you do me? <laughs> In Chicago, there's an elite group of moms that has one thing in common. They're doing whatever it takes. I love you, son. I want you to be the best. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> to get their kids to the NBA. Good job. <laughs> you see how you do me? <laughs> the dream is real, and they aren't playing. Johanna, take the picture down. I'm going to take it down. What I think is that you are Johanna, a facade. You all have lost your mind. Mom, I'll tell you about the offer that you got. Mind your damn business. You're starting to overstep your boundaries. But you're still my baby. I'm not a little kid anymore. They fuel the fire. On the court. Look at him, Russ. And off. Uh, What's going on with you and Mr. Williams? Ah. Wait, wait. Do you know a girl named Peyton Wilborn? Family is off limits. I don't know what I'll do without you. The highlight of my life is watching you and your brother and sister play. They are bringing up ballers. Right here. 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 Lady, you better move, because I'm not stopping right now, lady. I am Peyton Wilborn. I am the alpha of all the women. <laughs> hey, Bookie! My son, George, is one of the top senior high school players in Chicago. George ranks number seven in the state. What up, what up? And you know what? I hate to take the credit, but it's all because of me. I'm the one who has made him who he is. <laughs> What is you doing? <laughs> Are you seriously bouncing the ball in the house? If you hit not one thing over, you're paying for it. Your daddy's getting ready to come pick you up. Have you packed your bags yet? Basketball is our family business. Hell, basketball paid the way for our life. And before I was a basketball mom, I was a basketball wife. I was married to Aaron Williams. He was in the NBA for 15 seasons. Ultimately, it didn't work out, but we had three wonderful children, and they all play basketball. Until my oldest daughter, Danielle, committed treason and got a volleyball scholarship and quit basketball. And I'm fine with her decision. I mean, for me, sports is just a means to her education. But to an NBA dad, she might as well have told him that she was pregnant. He is not taking this news very well at all. Sure you don't want to play? Remember the basketball, right? You remember this, right? Stop passing it to me. That's it? You don't feel nothing like you want to play? There you go. Shoot the ball. He's going to tease her, and he's going to make jokes about it. He's always been that guy. Exactly what he's doing to Danielle so can, can. is exactly what he did to me for 15 years. So I feel so bad for him because, like, I know what it feels like. Hello. Okay. I love you guys. Love me too. Bye. Love you. I'll see you later. Got all my hoopers and Danielle. <laughs> <laughs> is that funny to you? It makes me feel terrible for my daughter to feel like she's a disappointment to her dad. But as a mother, I'm not going to sit back and watch my child have her feelings hurt. Take care of my babies. I always do. Goodbye. Love you guys. I love you, too. I got hella bad. I got hella bad. Nikki and I are both tall, beautiful basketball mothers. The second we walk in a gym, all heads turn. They call us the Twin Towers. Hella bands, hella brands. You can see it in the fishy and the hella trans. And Let's go, three dribbles. Oh, Namari's not ready. Sorry, Nick. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no. You're going to have to come with something different. That's what I'm saying. My name is Nikki Burnett, and I am proud to be raising the next basketball superstar. It stars in the womb and ends in the NBA draft. The only difference between me and a mama bear is my cub is already on his way to make it eight figures. No. There you go, bear. That's a no. foul. That's a foul. Lay 
No, I am the proud mother of Namari Burnett. He's been nationally ranked since fifth grade, meaning he's that kid you just might want to watch out for. No, no. the loudest and proudest mom in the gym. So if you don't love me, then something wrong with you. Johanna, on the other hand, is the definition of a mean bad girl. Game over, game over, quit the game. Other parents are definitely intimidated by me. I'm 5'11", I'm attractive, I have a star athlete. My son Amari is a sixth grader. Amari and Namari. Like, how did that happen? Let's go! Nice step back. Now y'all gotta make it. My son Amari is only 12 years old, but he's already playing up with 15 and 16 year olds. They're twice his size and he's kicking their asses. Well, I really like what Basil has them working on today. I like the drills. Let's go, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Listen, Basil's phenomenal. I mean, Amari works out with him four times a week. My name is Basil Evelyn. I train professional athletes as well as children who aspire to be professional athletes. Many people consider me one of the best in the country at this. Your son wants you to be quiet. I pay you, and I'm not going to be quiet. And you don't pay me enough for what I got to deal with. I hate having moms in practice. They're talking too much. They're yelling. They're trying to yell instructions with their sons. It's a constant battle. There you go. It's raising a superstar, raising the next big star, it's not easy. How much is it? Sure, here you go. Because the return on the investment is going to be major, because Namari knows I need my white boat my white Bentley and my white penthouse. Okay, all right. I'm from the inner city. I'm from the projects. It's not a lot of people that make it out. And I have so much instilled in me to hustle, hustle, hustle. That's all I know. I'm a real estate broker. I am the owner of Basketball Mom and Hoop Life Apparel. I make sure that Namari and my husband focus on basketball. So, what's going on with Hoop Life? So, we are revamping, rebranding, and I want to take it from, you know, just the t-shirt line to more active wear, cute okay. comfy stuff for us to wear in the gym. And I'm gearing up for my uh, photo shoot. Oh. And guess who I want to join me at the photo shoot? Oh, you! Ah! Duh! I mean, it's kind of obvious why Nikki needs help with this photo shoot. I mean, I'm a former Ford model. Do you need glasses? OK, Namari, I'm going to need a little bit more out them handles, son. Waste of my time. I could have been on the beach in a spa or something. Calm down over there. You got too much lip to be that short. I'm the freshest short dude you know. Listen, <laughs> I <agree. laughs> You know, George and I have been sitting down talking about college. You know, me being his mom, I want George to stay here. I think they are great colleges here. They have been calling, wanting to speak with him, and he just won't even talk to him. Right now, George is uncommitted. And what that means is he has not chosen a school. George has six D1 offers, but I'm doing everything in my power to keep him close to home. So, George, what are you thinking? I mean, how do you feel about it? I feel like I want to make it to the NBA, and the best chance of that is on the East Coast for me, in my opinion. I don't think I'll, I'll disagree with him. You know, it's not where you go. This week, George is playing his final high school game ever. It's an all-star city high school game, and this is his last chance to get more college offers. If you good, you good. Yeah, I understand that, but like, I'm tired of being here. Like, I, I want to go See, that's somewhere what it else. Is. You just want to get out, get away from me. Okay, hold up. Let me, let me, let me be the mediator in this. Let me tell you something. First of all, at some point in time, he's got to go to school. Yeah, but I don't have to huh? deal. At the end of the day, you can't just say no to everything. At least. Open up the letters. See what they have to say. Don't just say, I'm not, I'm not. Thank you. At least take a visit. Thank you. But then, here's the deal. At some point, he's got to leave. 
I he's gonna leave. That, bro, but I don't want him going away nowhere messing up either. You don't know if he, he can mess up here. Right. Give it a chance. It's college. This ain't this ain't high school anymore. You know what? You know what? You know what? This 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 Jules, let me let me talk to Mr. Rogers for a second. Please. There's nothing wrong with this conversation. Yes, it is. No, it's not, because it's he's the not one the... going to college. You gotta be more open-minded. I am open-minded. I'm open-minded with him. You look cute when you upset too. <laughs> Just thought I said that. It's hard for me to focus already. You sitting across from me. <laughs> Does George have any clue that we hanging out? Oh, he's a kid, like you say. He's no, a kid. He ain't no kid. He's a young man. I said that. You said he's a kid. No, he's, no I don't talk to him about him and the okay. and I. I don't want to say it's inappropriate, but it's not appropriate. Mm -hmm. Are we still are we still hanging out tonight? Of course. We'll be on time tonight. I'm going to be on time. You make sure you wear something sexy tonight. Now you know that. I don't even look, see? <laughs> I'm going to do whatever it takes to get my son to the next level. If I have to sleep with the coach, then I have to sleep with the coach. Just make sure when you walk out of here, walk slow. Don't be looking. I'm looking. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Be on time, baby. Bye. Bye. That's real twin power. Johanna, take the picture down. I'm gonna take it down. So your son has not committed yet. That's different. Yeah, that is different. <laughs> What's going on with you and Mr. Williams, honey? Do you know a girl named Peyton Wilborn? I am the founder and creative director behind Hoop Life. You don't want to go into the gyms looking like this. I ain't going to wear this to the gym unless I'm coming from somewhere or going somewhere. And the brand is sold nationwide, and all proceeds go to charity. Just kidding. All proceeds go to me. So what's going on? So Twin Towers, what are we? Twin Tower, I think we need to go for sexy chic. Sexy chic? Is this coming out of your mouth? That's what I said, Nana. Oh, is it? Oh, it's you. OK. <laughs> We're doing this hoop life photo shoot to drive sales. Can you hold it so I can brush it how I like it? Make no mistake about it. I'm a hustler, and this is my hustle. And everything that I do goes toward my son, who's the next NBA star. Well, I'm excited with this cold air. The nipples are just going to be perky and point. Nipples. So you know about the Midwestern All-Star Game coming up this weekend. Um, Peyton's son, George, was selected to play. I guess I'm just kind of confused because he's an All-Star, but he's not, he's like a senior already, and summer's almost here. By now, someone is committed to college. No shade. Why you say it like that? OK, I just know come, like, junior year, Amari will have known or will know exactly where he's going. I mean, I, I guess I'm just confused. It's like you're graduating in, like, I don't know, a day or two. And I just, to me, it's just, I guess what's eyebrow raising is the fact that he hasn't committed yet. That's, you know, that's really well, where Well, it shouldn't be, because not everybody is going to have a million offers. That doesn't mean that they still won't be successful and they won't make it to the next level. But we will see, because the time is now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. OK? OK. All right. It's my idea to do a bikini shoe. Not to say sex sells, but there's nothing wrong with a beautiful mother, you know, showing off a little bit of her curves. I guess you came over to the other side, Milfi. I absolutely love it. I mean, I'm just ready for, like, the photo shoot to be over so I can post these freaking pictures. You know, they want to talk about something. They want to talk about us on the court. They want to talk about us in real life. Here, talk. Talk. It's great. That's real twin talk. You just, you're mad in the gutter. <laughs> hey, babe. Hi. Hey. What's happening? Nothing. Ooh, 
That was cool. That was good. Yeah. So ever since Danielle quit basketball, things have been really intense around the house. So at this point, I realize I have to talk to her. I've got to get to the bottom of it. I have to figure out what's wrong. So how'd it go this weekend at your dad's? Like, he's always still making those, like, jokes and about, like, how I don't play anymore. You sure you don't want to play? You remember the basketball, right? There you go. Shoot the ball. It's kind of hurtful, but sometimes I don't know if he's joking or if he's, like, being serious, so. I don't want you to take it personal because you and I get it. It's about education. And the whole reason we did this thing, the reason you work as hard as you do is because we want to get you the best education. And guess what? You got it. Listen, I love basketball. Basketball has given us his open doors for myself, for your father, for our entire family, but it's not everything. To me, when daddy is always like cracking jokes and I think it's getting to me because like, I've always like looked up to him and he's always been the one who would like take me to practices and help me and everything. So, yeah, so every time he says something, it kind of feels like we're getting like further apart, but. Hmm. I didn't know you felt like that. Wow. I'm sure Aaron does not mean to be hurtful, but I know that's how it's coming off to Danielle. I have to talk to him before he does any real damage to his daughter. <sighs> Honey, your daddy loves you to death, and I know this is, that's gotta be a very strange feeling for you. you you're a daddy's girl. You know, you're, the, you're his first baby, you're the firstborn, you're, you know, you're his little schmuggas. So I'm gonna talk to him and we'll figure it out. Okay. We done worked, we done did everything we supposed to do. Everything that you've done, did all the sprints, it's time to play now. Go out there with all the intensity that you can have. Intensity, intensity, intensity. Stage is set. You just got to go out there and play now. Game time, game time, game time, game time. My son, George, is about to graduate from high school, and he still has not committed to a college yet. Hey, what? You know, what? why are you in the dressing room? I was coming here to, to, to tell George good luck at the All-Star game and everything. I'm excited about this game because it's a showcase for Midwestern colleges. Come on now, I understand, but you don't just walk in the dressing room like that. You don't do that, come on. You know, he got lots of offers, but he's holding out for the best one. But all these offers are from schools that's far away. I want him to stay close to home. Kenny, I did not well, know I could not Somebody walk came in here and then there's somebody didn't have their clothes on. These kids don't even know I'm you. I'm sorry, G. We'll see you later. Okay. Good. We'll see you later. Skinny dude with my jeans ripped. Thank you, all of my feet, bro. Pay for shades and vision. I thought I told you, but y'all just never listen. No boys right here, boy, so you should keep it business. Game time. Yeah, we pimpin'. And I'm talking about. George has to impress in this game. Because if not, I'm gonna lose him to a school that's far away. And I don't want that to happen. Which one's out with or now? Sometimes, as a player, when you know you have coaches and scouts looking at you, you have a tendency to freeze up. And I'm hoping and praying that George does not freeze up. Hey, Mookie, let's get it in. Yeah. I'm here at the All-Star game because my middle name is Support. George is like a nephew to me, you know, big brother to the kids, and the boys look up to him. But if Namari wasn't committed in his senior year, that would be my worst nightmare. People are already talking about my baby. Peyton must be going crazy. He good. I talked to him. His mind's probably as best as it's ever been. You ready? He ready to roll. I'm... Now it's time for the show to get on the road. That's it.
Peyton is doing way too much, constantly yelling, acting obnoxious, doing the most. And even though I get on Damari during his games, it ain't what you do, it's how you doing it. And right now, she's doing way too much. And he did that. Now we lost the damn game. This was his last chance to make a big impression to a D1 college in the Midwest. Now I'm afraid that he blew it. That sucks. What the hell happened? What you mean, what happened? Well, how'd y'all lose that game? Let me tell you how. We lost by 10. Now well, I played the three game. Goals. The score. We lost. I went out there, put up buckets, put up numbers, got blocked shots. I went out there and did my thing, in my opinion. You're proud of yourself, I'm baby. proud of myself. I went I, out there and did all my things. On the scale of one to ten, I give you a six. But you got to understand, he gave it all he got. As soon as you get into your head that I'm the one on the court and you're the spectator, I feel like you'll have a better time at a game. End of the day, all I heard was negativity from you, and if you weren't satisfied, then get satisfied, because that, that's what it is. I got a call saying that, um, you know, why is your wife taking pictures? And it's not a good look. It's not a good look, and who's the opinion? It's just embarrassing. Johanna, take the picture down. I'm going to take the picture down. Hey, baby. Hey, what's up? How was your day? Good. So mm. our family dynamic is a little different than most. I am the breadwinner. I am the hustler. Brian is my rock. He's my husband. He's my friend. Good workout? Yeah, I had a great workout. 20 pounds left to go, but, you know, he has a similar background. He's a real estate investor, and now he focused more so on Namari. And that gives me the opportunity to chase my dreams and to do the things that make us money. Um, I just got a call uh, about the um, Twin Towers photo shoot. OK. Um, somebody told me that Johanna posted on social media and saying that, you know, why is your wife, you know, taking pictures, you know, showing too much skin, the photo, the pictures too sexy, and stuff like that. It's, it's not a good look. It's not a good look, and who's the opinion? Uh, take a look at the comments. I mean, it is something that I really, 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 I mean, I wouldn't want my son to see it. Young kids, kids that play ball with him or play against him, play with him, whatever, making comments. Uh, you think that's appropriate? thing about it, it's not about you in this situation. It's about him. It's just embarrassing. They gonna think like they got a shot or something, you know. What 14, 15 year old kid gonna think they got a shot? Cause I got on a swimsuit. We've been together 18 years, Nikki. I don't want nobody to be looking at any parts of what I have. Right. You know, especially putting on social media where the world can see. Right. No. So the Burnets are really feeling some kind of way about these overly sexy photos. But I have to remember that my baby is not a little baby anymore, and he's heading to high school now. This is Chicago, you know. These kids are tough. I don't want my baby getting in fights about his Insta-famous mama. <sighs> All right, y'all, well, you know. I don't want you to be teased. You know, I ain't gonna stand for people to, to say anything. And I thought it was totally innocent. So I'm gonna talk to her so she can really get it. And the picture will come down today, that's yeah. for sure. Just a little bit too old. I'm a little too old? Yes. You can find something else to say, because that ain't well, the right word. Sure. It's opinion. It's opinion. This is opinion. Child, old as you could be to do that is, in my opinion, 30. But you? I am 30. OK. Uh, Keep make dreaming. sure you know okay. that. Keep dreaming. dreaming. And you better not tell Tomorrow. nobody my age.
My son has spoken, and I have listened. My internet stardom is causing my son real issues with his career. And I'm being a reasonable mom and taking these Twin Tower photos down. Hey! Hi. I know she think we should own it like a couple of Kardashians, but I need to bring her back down to reality. So, what's going on? So, we need to talk. Okay. The photo shoot. Okay. My family has an issue with it. Johanna, my love, take the picture down. Why? I'm a mom of a certain age with a, with a star athlete. Why do you give a crap about what the hell a 14-year-old thinks? Like, seriously, a 14-year-old? that 14-year-old is my kid. Okay. Their opinion matters. Okay, okay. Namari's Namari. opinion matters, but so what are they saying to Namari? We live in Chicago. What are they saying to Namari? Do you what really are they think I want to put saying? my son in a position for somebody to say something derogatory about his mama and then he feel like he got a Who cares what the kids are saying? For you to have a 12-year-old, a star athlete, as both our kids are, and to know that they have to face different things. They're away from us eight hours of the day plus. I'm not worried about Amari. Listen, My outfit was not see-through. I, I would wear you're that. You're not worried at... about your son. Do you understand what you're saying? In terms of my outfit, in terms I'm not of running it outfit. past my son. Is this appropriate? No, I know you're a star athlete. I. I know you're like top Neither five. am I, but am I'm I gonna have this is common okay? sense to know Honey, what's a goal and sense. what's not. I'm attractive. If I want to put on you're confident, a bikini, and you're I'm overly confident with a kid at this age showing your ass on social media. It's my Instagram page. Go. I'm going to take this down. But the problem we're having now is her father, he really wants her to play basketball. He ain't upset with her. Trust me. How do you know what he's upset about? So you know him. Yes, I do. The photo shoot. Okay. My family has an issue with it. Johanna, my love, take the picture down. It's my Instagram page. So I'm going to take it down. Who the hell does Nikki think she is? A nun? Since when do our boys decide what we wear? We looked amazing. I'm calling a foul on this play. So what are they saying to Namari? We live in Chicago. What are they saying to Namari? What are they saying? Really they saying? I want to put saying? my son in a position for somebody to say something derogatory about his mama, and then he felt like he got to take up for me and get his self on the ground. Is it preparing your child for the adversities of the hecklers Chicago? and the crap? For you to have a 12-year-old, a star athlete, as both our kids are, and to know that they have to face different things. They're away from us eight hours of the day plus. You want to be about that MILF life? I'll post you on MILF Monday. Seriously, respect me as I, res re okay. as I respect you. Okay. As a woman, I need you to take it down like now. OK, you got it. Come on. Come on, take it down. It's hot, though. It's hot. It's hot. Wait, it's hot, though. Please and thanks. He leaves. I love you just as Nikki B is. And I okay. love you as Johanna, the Nikki girl. Nikki girl, I love it. Call Playboy for me. You yeah. can be my agent. Yeah, y'all been talking that smack. Come on, man. I love Italian food, first of all. So I say, you know, I'm not going to be the traditional black woman that open up a traditional black soul food restaurant. I'm going to step out my culture. So I opened my Italian restaurant, and I named it Truth. So y'all make sure y'all spread the word that Truth give out $5 Long Island specials. Everything is about me is the truth. Do I tell a lie? Yeah, it's called a white lie. But I am the truth 99.9% .9 of the time. Hey, <laughs>
I am known as the social butterfly, and unlike some of the other women who can't get along with their damn self, I know how to get along with other women. Yeah. So, Peyton, you remember Heather from Glam Lux? Hey. I do not. I, 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 I never really met her. Yeah. Heather Williams and I have been friends for just about four years, maybe. Heather is that wholesome big sister of mine, and I think it's important for Heather to meet the other ladies. Hey. Because we all share a common denominator, and that is getting our kids to the next level. What the hell is going on? Busy. The camp is starting in a couple of weeks, so. Yeah, because you do have that basketball camp. Yes. Did you know that? Oh, no, I didn't know that. You do a camp? Yeah, basketball camp for boys and girls. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So if you need George to sit down and talk to them by him being a senior, you know, talk he to them. He could come just yeah. He could talk to Speaking them. of which, did he commit? Not yet. What's up with him not committing? He has six offers. Five of them he did not take. So your son has not committed yet, huh? He's a senior. Yeah. Wow. That's different. Yeah, that is different. You yeah. will. It is extremely important that you are committed by the end of the senior year. If you're not, that's a really, really bad thing. You know, my daughter's a junior, and she's committed. That's wonderful. Yeah. She got a scholarship in volleyball to Northwestern. Oh, lovely. I don't know why this chick that I never met tried to give me some kind of shade about my son not being committed. She freaking got a scholarship in volleyball. whoop de doo But the issue that we have with that is, is that she has to quit basketball. Why did they make her choose volleyball over basketball? She wasn't that great of a basketball player? No, she was an excellent basketball player. OK. But the problem we're having now is her father, Aaron, is just. He really wants her to play basketball because, you know, he's, you know, he was a basketball player. He played in the NBA for 15 years. Oh. Basketball, I mean, has given us an amazing life. Absolutely. I love every, it's opened to so many doors. Absolutely. I might not know this chick, Heather, but I do know her ex-husband, if you know what I mean. But he's making it very difficult for her because he teases her. He gives her, like, he makes little remarks. He ain't upset with her. Trust me. You know. How do you know what he's upset about? I'm like, you can know. Did I know? Uh-huh. So, he's not upset about it. So you it. know him. Oh, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, I do. Bitch, you know everybody. Does he know you? I mean, that's probably the better question. Does he know you? Ask him. I will. I don't think he does. Let's just say Aaron and I have some special moments together. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> I don't think he does, but that's okay. Where is this even coming from? I don't even know you. I know nothing about this girl. And she knows, or th thinks she knows everything about me. Peyton, I think you're being real bad drama right now. Okay. How much you know this lady, ex-husband? Oh, he an uh, ex-husband? Okay. Y'all making me hide this messing up my makeup and shit. Here I am trying to bring everybody together. And here Peyton is embarrassing me. Like, I don't know what's going on with her and Heather's ex, but this is not the time or the place. What? Who are you? I don't even know hey. you. Let's talk about the game. You're getting older, and I feel like I sometimes speak my mind. How would you feel if someone like came up to you talking about you suck? Do you know a girl named Peyton Wilborn? Yeah, I know What's going on with you and Mr. Williams, honey? Well, let's show you some text to him and I. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait. You are the worst! George! Yes! I was way too hard on George after he lost the game. But that's what we do as moms. We want the best for our sons. Anything I have to do as a single mom, I have done and will continue to do. Let's talk about the game. 
I do apologize for how I'm not saying that you suck. That wasn't nice. I never told you that before, but like you're getting older, and I feel like I, I could sometimes speak my mind versus when you were smaller. You might be more sensitive to the things that I might want to say, but now you're getting older. Mm. I, well, I mean, just because of age, that don't mean you need to totally disrespect me on the, on the court. I'm gonna try to disrespect you, son. That's why I'm down here. I, I do want to apologize to you. I accept your apology. It's all good. I did get a couple calls after that game, so I told you why you were up there complaining the whole time that something big was going to happen. Like, like who? Like? Well, Val Prezo called me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Val Prezo. Big D1 school, close to home. It's music to my ears as a mom, because I could get in my car, I can drive to Indiana. I'm very excited. And I love our friends, man. You look at the couple of games last year. Yes. Now, that's what I'm talking about. They don't lose games. Yeah. The call from Valparaiso is huge. That, that's definitely a top-tier school. Bang, bang. <laughs> but I'm not making my decision today. This came from one game. Who knows? Throughout the next week, what more schools can can call? But why are you rolling the dice? You Somebody can offer you a million dollars today, and then you accept that. But tomorrow is gonna offer you two million. Well, now you're gonna look okay, back and be like, "Wow, if I would have just waited and just so took my time." Us. It's like playing Price is Right. You I don't know. I've never even seen that show. I mean, you are y'all. I'm hearing everything you got to say. That's what makes Mama happy. I did not raise a fool. I did raise a businessman, and he's making business decisions for his life. Ah! I love you. You love, love me? you too. Ah. My ex-husband has not been the easiest person to talk to when it came to things involving he and I. There's a reason we got divorced, but what we do very well is co-parent. And that's where the line of communication is always open. And the latest issue is the way ex-NBA player is treating his daughter just because she decided to quit basketball. So I wanted to talk to you, and I don't want you to be on the defense about this because I know how you can be defensive. So just hear me out. I know that you and Cameron and AJ have your opinions on Danielle and basketball. And she feels like you guys are really giving her a hard time. And you guys tease and make jokes. And I don't, th I don't know if you guys realize, but it's really affecting her. And she feels like, she feels like she's disappointed you. So I'm just here to tell you that you might want to just pull back a little bit. Well, I didn't. She never said anything to me about it. She's probably afraid to talk to you about it. Why would she be afraid? She can talk to me about anything. Well, okay, first of all, how, how do you feel about her quitting basketball? Yeah. Uh, do I agree with it? No. Uh, do I think she left her team hanging? Yes. The girl's talented. She can, if anybody can pull it off playing two sports, it's her. Yeah, <clears throat> that's not fair. That's, I don't think that's fair. I think you're putting way too much pressure on her. I don't think so. She handles the pressure very, very She well. does handle it, Aaron, but, but now she's telling you, OK, Dad, this is it. I've made a choice. You have to respect that. I guess. All right, good. Really? Cool. The fist bump, yes. really? Yes, good. So you know, I was going to ask you, do you know a girl named Peyton Wilborn? It's because she was sure implying that she knew you. So you know, I was going to ask you, do you know a girl named Peyton Wilborn. Can I, like, take the slip you off? You cut it out. But I warn you, if you cut it out, you better send a memo. 
Really? Let them know you're coming. Y'all, you, you're going to shark this down. This is hot. Peyton Lightweight embarrassed me the other night with the whole Heather situation. That was just too close to home. You just don't hit below the belt. Look at these Peyton See through Peyton for real. Yes. Girl, please. That's doing too much, and George would not like it. So, um, this is nice. what about that dinner, though? Like, what was that about? That little <sighs> situation with you and Heather. You got to put me in the bad spot, because I ain't know that you knew the I homie, just, yeah, AKA her, her ex husband. I didn't know you, I didn't know that you was going to bring that lady. She was sure implying that she knew you. Yeah, I know. How you know her? I met her years ago. What's going on with you and Mr. Williams, honey? Listen, we did have a little flame. You better not see. When I was thinking about doing the bar, mm -hmm. I was going to ask her for some advice on that. Did he didn't stick it in. Oh. <laughs> That's about it. So. OK. So let me let me tell you about this about this chick. I met her through Nikki. And this girl was so rude to me. And she kept trying to like poke at me. And like, I have no idea why. She's a part of the clique now. I mean, she is a mom like us. She a boss like us. She pretty like us. So she what? She pretty. Don't do her. Don't do her, Peyton. Stop that. I was telling a story about Danielle and I was telling them your feelings about it. And then she's going to tell me, you don't know how Aaron feels about it. And I said, excuse me? I'm like, do you know Aaron? She says, as a matter of fact, I do. What are you showing me? I don't want to see no pictures of no freaky shit. No, I'm going to show you some texts that him and I had a conversation. You know, just trying to imply that you all were dating or something. So then I'm, I'm going on. I'm talking to her this story. Did, did you date her? No. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I can't take you. You are the worst. That's him. I thought I'd ask you if you knew who she was, because she was sure implying that she knew you. <laughs> no, not like that. Girl, you is messy. This is too much. I did not know. Thank you. I did not know that I was going to meet his ex-wife. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> y'all got me in the middle of y'all mess. Chicago is so big, <laughs> yet so small. Drama don't make me no money. I don't have time to be in the middle of Heather and Peyton's situation. So, Peyton, your secret is safe with me. You know, she's going to be around. We around, so we need to get along. And let that man be. I don't want to no know more anyway. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> hey, show me some text messages. She really knows your ex-husband. Hey, let's talk. What are you going to do about school? With deep consideration, I'm going to choose. Come on, I'll tell you about the offer that you got. So what? Going on from now, I'm definitely going to take things into my own hands. We're going to do a press conference for what school Namari is attending. We believe in setting trends. Oh, wow. You run your mouth. I, you don't and even I'm think. Gonna, what I think is that you are Johanna. a facade. This is invite only. Somebody here that needs to be exported immediately. Oh, foul. AJ is fouling the out of my son. That's Ooh. not foul. He is. Are you He's blind? Not. Get at Namari and make sure that you are going oh. your harvest. I can't believe it. Yeah, it's okay, baby. It's okay. Remember, you're trying to go to the top. Don't let nobody pull you down at that level. I'm proud looking down and seeing that I was in those seats when I was your age. That's it right there. You know, you get the mom approval because Namari likes you. The highlight of my life is watching you and your brother and sister play. I'm very proud of you. I love you. I don't know what I'll do without you. I'm like, you, you. Oh, 